Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, my hearties. A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one. TikTok just for you. Live streaming Scotty McClue Sunday night. Nothing gets past me, and it's always lovely to have you with us. And Lucy has just joined us, so a very warm welcome to Lucy as our first joiner tonight. Fantastic. Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Make sure you share this TikTok live because this is one of the leading lives on TikTok, in, and it's the top TikTok talk show. Welcome back, Scotty. Thank you, Kareem. Very good of you. Stevie James says, hello, sir. Hello, Stevie. Thank you for joining Joining us, lovely to have you with us. I've got my badge on. I'd better get it round the right way. <laughs> there we go. Yes, dinky do. Uh, can you all share and uh, follow me as soon as you come on, please? Because we've got so much to do tonight and so little time to do it in. Time just absolutely flies when you're enjoying yourself. So there we are. Tremendous. Now, who have we got here? Let's just see what's happening. Dinky do. How many times do you do your stream? I do lots and lots of streams. Very, very important. So there we are. Always lovely to have you with us. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. And um, I could probably tell you, but there's no hard and fast rule. That's the problem. There isn't actually a hard and fast rule. So lovely to have you with us. You're so happy. It's a tonic. Steve James, thank you. A wee tonic. You can't beat a wee tonic. I nearly said atomic there. So there we are. Uh, we'll just get rid of the half wits. There's the Brad Moy half witted idiot. Bye bye, half wit. Right. We don't want to tell you of the half wit. So you do the wee trolls. The people that go on to the lives and see if they can make a nuisance of themselves. Uh, follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very, very much appreciated. Um, I've got the old, I've got the formula for it. Apparently, if you tap the plus sign at the top left, can you see that? I'll hold it up like that. And that lets you see what's what. And if everybody can follow me as soon as they come on. Hi, Scotty. First time on TikTok ever. John Boy, tremendous. I was first time live very, very soon, so I'm not much ahead of you. There we go. Scotty is building his presence on TikTok. Very clever man. Keep up the good work. Steve James, I thank you. Very kind of you to say congratulations on the 9K. Have we got the 9K? Oh, yes. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. Thank you all to all the beautiful people who have come and joined us. How fantastic is this? Apart from a tiny, tiny amount of uh, halfwits, we have so many beautiful people on here who really know their stuff. Fantastic. Guys, can you also, can some of you go? Used to love your programs. Glad you're on here. Big lad. I thank you so much. Who's your favorite singer? Do you know, I was just thinking, I love the way Julie Andrews sang. You know, Sound of Music is quite, quite stunningly beautiful. But I have so many favorite singers, you know, Shirley Bassey, Frank Sinatra, all that sort of thing. Just outstanding. Kathleen Ferrier, Norma Proctor. There's another gorgeous singer, a very good friend of mine as well. Who's the fellow in the background? That's me. That's Scotty McClue. Uh, so there we are. Thoughts on Queen, the band. Wonderful band. Outstanding. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. There we are. Do the Fandango. The picture in the back's iconic. Do you like it, Ophelia? That's Reith the Labrador. He was iconic, that dog, I can tell you. He was most certainly iconic. Guys, please follow me. It's so important. It's easy to forget, I know, but please do it because it makes a big difference to what we're doing on here. So, uh, you know, that would be wonderful if you can do your bit and we have a wee follow fest. Sorry to be a nuisance, but it does help. You'll soon have 10K and you can apply for the TikTok Creators Fund, Scotty. Uh, Steve James, yes, but I would think I'll need a lot more than that. There's quite a criteria to succeed on here. Thoughts on Oasis. They're very, very refreshing. If you've been a whole day in the desert and you just come across this, the palm trees and the watering hole and that, wonderful. There we are. Thoughts on the Beatles. Well, you can see them sometimes just crawling about your room. You know what I mean? That sort of idea. If you go to a strange 
Hotel Abroad, Dinky Do Scotty, MSN, excellent stuff. Uh, what do did you do for a living? What do I do for a living? I think it's what you mean. I'm only 32, for goodness sake. Thoughts on Metallica? We just got to watch with your teeth. There we are. Hi, mate. Can you say something for me? Yes, something for you. Excellent stuff. I said something for you. Guys, can we all share this? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Adam, these are excellent musicians. Lots of thoughts about these people. Very, very good. Love the music as well. Great stuff. Now then, you've got to remember, I used to work on big radio stations in Manchester. Uh, can you tell us a joke, please, Scotty? Simperoni, I don't really know any jokes, to be quite honest with you. You know, that's uh, that's the problem. Um, do you have a picture of you when you were young? Well, this is this is me, young, you know what I mean? That's sort of idea. So there we go. What radio station, oh, Johnny, what radio station was I on? I was on all the major radio stations in the country. So there we are. Um, what have we got? Magic Radio, Hallam FM, Scott FM, Radio Clyde, Radio Forth, TFM, um, Century Radio 105, Century Radio 106, Century Radio Northeast. The, all these big, big radio stations, huge. Here's my joke. Why did the troll come on Scotty's stream? Because they are a big bully. <laughs> They're certainly full of bull, I can tell you that. Can you say hi to Baron? Of course I can. Scotty, how are you? It's Connor that was on earlier. Connor, I know I recognize your stuff there. Fantastic. Scotty's a time traveler. He pops back to 1996 to do his Scott FM radio show every night. Steve James Jams, could you imagine that? Every night, Scott FM. Guys, please follow me. Could somebody volunteer to go and like the videos, please? We always have a volunteer who goes and likes the videos. That's what we do on here. And nobody sort of says, I'm not following. Everybody follows. We are a team on here. Any negativity, jot them off. There we are. Tell them the stories. Can I join your live mate? Of course you can. Callum Radio Wrexham. There we are. Oh, Callum Radio Wrexham. We have it on Wave 105. Wave 105. Is Wave 105 the south coast? Is that what we're talking? Tell me which one. There we are. Don't worry about the trolls. You're awesome. Johnny, we don't. I think they've gone. You know what I mean? The trolls are half-witted people of very, very, very low intelligence. And they've got about four things they ask you. Uh, what's your pronouns? Do you support? Um, do you work in a superstore? Can you shout out to this non-existent person? That's your trolls in a nutshell. So don't worry about that. They're toast. Thoughts on the monkeys? I used to love watching them Saturday night. Davy Jones, Mike Nesmith, Mickey Dolenz, and uh, who did we have? Davy Jones, Mike Nesmith, Mickey Dolenz. Oh, give me the other monkey. It's just slipped my mind. Scotty, dinky do. Evening, Scotty. Evening, Nikki. How are you? Are you fabulous? Are you outstanding? So there we are. Can you please pronounce the name Sabria? There we are. Sabria or Sabria? Uh, your YouTube was magic before. John Cox, I thank you. John Boy will join me. I popped up on YouTube. Guys, you must get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And the link to it is just beside my profile on TikTok. It's the, uh, it's, it's the link that you would normally have there. You'll see the little square as if it was Instagram only. And the link to my Instagram and the link to my YouTube channel are there. Check if it works. Tell me if they work. Go and look at it just now. How old are you? Actually, nobody knows. Um, it's of, I'm of an indeterminate age because I'm a time traveler. Do you see what I mean? So it's so difficult. How are you doing, big yarn? Think you do, Jenny? Jenny, thank you for all your kindness earlier. It was so kind of you. Peter Tork, that's it. 
So Mickey Dolan, Peter Tork, Mike Nesmith, and Davy Jones. Hey, hey, with the monkeys. We're not monkeying around. <laughs> Dinky do, Scotty. Trolls are wee tumshies, Scotty boy. They are driving in. I feel sorry for them, but they're daft, you know what I mean? And they just ask the same questions. There's one there. Do you support BLM? Why would you ask people that in an all-inclusive TikTok? You know what I mean? There we are. I have school tomorrow. Wish me luck, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, dinky do. Ethan's following us. Thank you, Ethan. Share the lives, guys, and follow as soon as you possibly can. Very, very much appreciated. If you can follow me there, that would just be wonderful. Follow, follow, Scotty McClure. And every day it comes on, please do the same because I know I know what it's like myself. Somebody says, please subscribe, please follow. I go, yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, but please do, you know. Uh, watch the pronouns. You never, ever ask that, Grace, because uh, my nouns are Scotty McClure. Thank you for the luck. I feel better. We're going to school tomorrow. Enjoy, I say. Please follow me, guys. So important. There we are. Just grace, really. Following, following, following. Now, what have we got here? Uh, what are you doing? From Thailand. I am broadcasting live on Tic Tac, Thailand. Favorite monkey song. So many. Love the whole, love the program. Uh, Peter Nesmith, no, it was Mike Nesmith, uh, I say. There we are. Uh, did you hear about the auto body shop that just opened? It comes highly recommended. Semperoni. We love that. That's beautiful. You're so clever. Uh, what have we got here? Why would anybody care what Scottish pronouns are? It's daft to ask. Absolutely. My nouns are Scotty McClure. There we are. Rate still game. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. Dinky do tic tac. Absolutely, Aaron. You know, I love Sky, Man United. Dad, what's what? <laughs> Lad, what clan are you? The McClure of McClure. Shush. You shush. There we are. Off you go. Are you the king of Scotland? No, but if the job came up, I might apply. Apparently, I am Scottish royalty. They are very interesting. I got told that. Whereabouts are you from in Scotland? From all of it. Um, I am the voice of Scotland. Scotty McClure speaks for the Scots. Simple as that. Now they were oh, very funny feet pics. Dad, what are you doing on here? Mark, you said you were going to get milk. <laughs> uh, what have we got? It's going so fast now. I met the guy who invented the windowsill. He's a total ledge. Oh, better not clap in case somebody's got their earphones in. We love it. Guys, can you all follow me as soon as you come on? Follow me, Scotty McClure. Tap the plus sign uh, up at the top left. Wonderful stuff. There we are. What's your favorite book? I have so many favorite books. The house is falling down with books. So there we are. Thanks. I'm a brody. I called into your radio station 20 years ago. I found a hair bubble. <laughs> Thoughts on Macbeth. I've said it. I have to. There we are. We're okay. We're okay. Don't panic. The Scottish play. Celtic Rangers, go and see them both play. Make up your mind. There's no plus sign. There should be a plus sign and a little human in the top left for liking it, if you can get that. Uh, no, Jack Arthur, you can't get a shout out for that. And off you go for trolling. Bye. Can we all shout cheerio to Jack, please? Bye, Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh, don't shout that, for goodness sake. Scotty, what have we got here? What do you call a rooster staring at lettuce? A chicken sees a salad. Yeah, very strange. So there, can you say hello to Rachel? She loves you. Scotty, can we steal you from Scotland, England, need you? Christian James, and dinky do to you, I say. Right, guys, big share fest. Big follow fest, please. Come on. Um, Scotty, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're doing well, my fabulous friend. Sending love from Liverpool. Sean, you know we love the bones of you in Liverpool. 
Thank you to the very posh. So there we are now. What part of Scotland are you from? From all of it, uh, NC. I am Mr. Scotland. Now, uh, console, you need to grow up. We'll dump you as well for being a wee troll. Guys, remember if you're coming on with the same junk you use to try and spoil other people's lives, doesn't work here. No reveals of anything, no pronouns, no do you support, none of that. Don't do any of that. We're all inclusive. Thoughts on the BGs? Love them. Fantastic group. Great sound. Scotty, can you say hello to Jess and to Lucy? Of course I can. Absolutely. Feet pics. We don't do any of that rubbish. This is too important for that. You get yourself on something simpler where you maybe do a two-piece jigsaw. Same with you. Okay. We don't reveal anything. What's your favorite cheese? I'm very big on the Gouda. You know, absolutely. Well, I'm just very big anyway, to be quite honest with you. So there we are. Guys, can we all follow, please, as soon as you come on? Kareem, you are such a generous man. Kareem is the most wonderful man, guys. He comes on and he always gives me a TikTok. So there we go. Phoebe, we never ask about pronouns. My nouns are Scotty McClure. Happy birthday to Tristan. Absolutely. House of Jabba sent me. We like the House of Jabba. Yes, they're very good on here. Guys, follow me. Who's that behind you? That's me behind you. Yes, indeed. Dinky do. Right, feet pics, you're going to have to go for trolling. Say bye, feet pics, everybody. Bye, feet pics. Well, nobody's bothered, really, are they? There we are. Dis disclose your thoughts on the dragons. I don't fight dragons. Do you regret anything you said in the radio? Certainly not, Max. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said it. I've never regretted anything I've said. Can you say happy birthday to my friend? Uh, no, because you don't have a friend, and she's not called that. And it's not her birthday. You've lied to me three times. Naughty, naughty, naughty person. Alex the Antelope is for a banning. Away and troll somebody else, Alex, and grow up, by the way. Fantastic. All right, free Dundee for the Brotty Ferry, the Pan Muir and the Clay Pots. Uh, a yin end of the tune and the other. Uh, I'm Scottish too, mate. Thank you, Nathan. The dafties tell too many porkies. They're fibbers. I'm from Kilmacomb, says Johnny. We love Kilmacomb, Johnny. We absolutely love Kilmacomb. Do you know the Ran Furley up there? Fantastic. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. Kilmacomb, Kilbarkin, Bridge of Weir, Brookfield. Lovely, lovely part of the world. Very, very busy part of the world now. When I was wee, that was quite leisurely. Langbank, Bishopton, all that. Mon the Dees. Scotty, what did you have for dinner? Beautiful dinner today. Aberdeen Angus. Yes, very, very nice. He's a good guy. Uh, please shout out to my friend, Dinky Do. Absolutely love your voice. Loved listening to you back in Scott FM. Says Minx. Minx, is it good to see me again? Because I love seeing everybody else. Uh, did you hear the rumor about butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. Very good, Stevie. We love all that. Dundee FC. Have you still got Dundee United? Have you got both teams? Are both teams fit and well? Eat your hat. So has got to, no. I'll only eat my hat uh, if somebody gave me five million pounds. Can you give Ashley a shout out? He's stuck. Yes, that's right. Very good. He loves your videos, of course. Ochter Machte. The Laird of Ochtermachty was Jimmy Shand, Sir James Shand. Both teams not doing well, to be honest. Absolutely, yes, indeed. Eat your hate, everybody. That's it, eat your hate. Good advice. We love that. Everybody should eat their hate. Good evening, Scotty. Evening, the Mac. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Very, very busy. Guys, can everybody follow us, please? Big follow fest, and don't go funny on me and go, nah, you know, just get for it. Michael Jackson, is he dead or alive? Have you been to Aberdeen? You used to work in Aberdeen. Fat like, I say. Have you been to me? Ah, fat like, I fool your dues. Are you just chaffing a wall? Fantastic. There we are. Do you know someone with a surname Gray from Scotland? Alistair Gray, the writer and artist, the wonderful man. Who's your biggest inspiration? Uh, Terry Wogan. 
I love Terry Wogan. Fantastic. No, I had a lot of inspiration. Good inspiration. There we are. Chief executives of ITV companies. They were my inspiration. Wonderful, wonderful characters. Making big decisions, you know. Hi from Aberdeen. Dinky do, Scotty. How are we getting on? Now, hi from Ashley. Hi from Aberdeen. Oh, we love it. Shall I give you, uh, can you give a shout out to Alpha? Uh, yes, yes, Alpha, we like Alpha. And Beta, your friend Beta as well. Can you follow us, guys? Are you Scottish, says Ked? I think I might be, Ked. I think there's a bit of the Scot in me. Hi from Ayrshire. Hello, Ian. Why are Scottish people so weird? All they do is eat porridge. Well, dairy farmer, you obviously don't know any because they do more than eat porridge. They make porridge first, otherwise they couldn't eat it. Uh, so there we are. Alex Bellsfield is taking your sayings, Alex. <laughs> yes. Well, there we are. Yes, I remember, Alex. Absolutely. Um, hey from Largs, dinky do. Hi from Glasgow. Hi Ashley, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Please shout out my full name. No, no, we don't shout out full names on here. Uh, I can tell you that. Are you from Scotland? Uh, I think we'll go for a yes on that. What do you think, guys? What's the history? So Terry Wogan interviewed David Icke in 1991. And I interviewed David Icke in, I think, 1992. So there we go. So there's a year between us. Thoughts on Nicola Sturgeon, first-class politician, excellent uh, first minister, and uh, has done huge things for Scotland. Are you excited for everything to go back to normal? What's the first thing you'll do? I think I'll pop up on TikTok. Uh, are you from Spain? Si. Milamo Scotty Marclou. Hola. Hola, amigo. Scotty's not from Scotland. He's from the universe, but he lives in Scotland. Shora Elba. Hi, all the way. Dinky do. Are you from India? Um, yes, yes, I think I'm from India originally, or from Africa. I'm from Africa originally. <coughs> okay, we'll have to send you down the road for being a very, very silly wee troll who we have no interest in. Uh, my heart's going out to Elizabeth after losing her rock and her husband. Condolences to the royals. The Mac, thank you. Johnny Thwaite says, Brexit. The biggest act of self-harm since the First and Second World War. Brexit has damaged Britain beyond repair. Brexiteers have betrayed their country. Remainers are the true patriots. And Brexit will have broken the United Kingdom and fragmented it politically and annihilated it economically. Apart from that, I loved your radio show. Wish it could be brought back. Too many woke folk. Absolutely, Minxie. That was the way to do radio. And I don't know why the woke folk were bothered, because we never said anything. Uh, Climate says, are you in the IRA? No, no, no. The IRA shut down years ago. Yes, absolutely years ago. That's about 100 years old. There we are. <coughs> are, are you happy? What's this? Are you happy, Charles? Charles didn't die, Climate Kings. What are you talking about? What are you? Do you mean Charles the First? What are your pronouns and sexuality? How's your day going? Well, we don't ever do pronouns because we're all equal on here. So nothing, none of that matters. Scotty, would you rather be able to run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour? I think if you flew at 10 miles per hour, you couldn't stay up. So there we go. I run at 100 miles per hour anyway, so that's not a problem. So would I like to fly? Well, I do say to people, right, I must fly. So maybe I do fly. Uh, you know, because I remember seeing Superman, uh, you know, at the airport, and he was having a few pints. And then when he went to the checkout, they said, Superman, you're actually too drunk to fly anyway. I don't know. That's why I'm taking a plane. 
<laughs> See what I just did there? Brexit, best thing that happened to the UK, goodbye. Super noodles. Brexit has brought us no benefit. It's cost £200 billion. Maybe you are a billionaire and you might save on your tax. Goodbye. There we go, half wit. Now, uh, who have we got here? Simperoni, good evening. Uh, hi, Scotty, how are you doing? There we go. Guys, don't keep spamming with all that stuff. I will just have to ban you. Wait a wee minute. Hang on. Let me do a wee bit of banning there. Right, that's us. There you go. Okay, that's L. LGR is toast. Kicking out the Brexiteers. Absolutely, Johnny. Get rid of these half-witted idiots. They've done enough damage. I think what we should do is um, deport the Brexiteers after they've picked up the tab for Brexit. So charge them, put it on to their council tax. Once they're paid, get them out there. There we are, dinky do. Uh, whoever we get, just a wee second here. Now. Uh, Dinky, what's your view on the COVID? Well, I'll be glad when it's over. Put it that way, absolutely. Guys, can... Hi, Scotty, how are you? Says Lum. Guys, can you follow me, please? And share. Let's have a follow fest. And who's going to volunteer to go and like some videos for us? And then I'll see if there's any movement on here. Can somebody do that? Can somebody like some videos? Very, very important. Uh, now, what do we got here? Thank you, Tia. Very, very good of you. Me. Can me go and, and just like some videos? What in the Peaky Blinders is this? This is Peaky Blinders. It's sort of more Peaky, Peaky over there. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh, there you are. Right, okay. Uh, I, I will. You're an inspirational guy. Lewis. That's so good of you. Thank you. If you can go and just like a few, tell us when you're back, Lewis, and when you've done it, and I'll check the figures. That's yeah, so good of you. Thank you. I like some of your posts, Mr. Extinct. Thank you very much. I hope you stay with us. Um, all the people, I like some of your posts. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. We need big, big followers. Do you take a pint of beer, Scotty? I did until about 10 years ago. I don't take anything alcoholic now. What have we got here? Oh, here's the dafty. Scots think you can be independent by being part of the European Union. Well, of course you can. The independence is being independent from Westminster. Hello, capiche, wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. You got that. <laughs> Freedom. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your videos. You make my day, bro. Tiernan, thank you. Nice to see you, says Cod. Uh, D. Rob has liked the videos. Missing my dad tonight. Your energy always cheers me up, sir. Darren from Nottingham. We love you. Strength to you, I say. I've liked some, Lewis. That's good. What's your thoughts on the lovely Megan? Well, she's not so lovely in my eyes after dumping on the family that had given her everything. So very dischuffed with that, I have to say. Stop going on about it. We've left the EU. Well, we need to rejoin as soon as possible. Stop going on about leaving. There we are. Fantastic. Are you back? Thanks, Neve. Neve's back, everybody. Hope she behaves. There we go. What have we got here? Yep, that's some likes. If everybody can like the videos. Do you think animals deserve to die for meat? Well, Climate Kings, you would have to ask yourself, why are the animals there in the first place? In other words, do they deserve to be born for meat? Why are you skimping with the royal family they oppressed Scotland for centuries? No, they didn't. They are Scottish, you silly fool. The, the monarchy is a Scottish institution. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. Why are you not standing up for your Scottish people, for your head of state? Declaration of our broth. Was it 1341? 
all to do with choosing our monarchy. You silly, silly, silly person. Why are Scottish people there in the first place, if not to be slaves for the English? Well, in actual fact, the English are the slaves for the Scottish, because the Scottish have always run England and paid for it. Do you see what I'm saying? Ah, it's you graduating. Well, just now. Oh, there we are, yes. No, it's the dog. But I went along to help him with the hood. So I put the hood on so I could just hood, hood, hood him when he graduated. Your videos are so awesome. Thank you so much, Tuna Guy. You are such a top man. Free the Martians. Yes, indeed. The past, the present, the future. Walk into a bar. It was tense. <sighs> The President of the United States, the Pope, and the Queen walked into a bar, and the barman says, Is this the start of some kind of joke? <laughs> Fantastic. We love it. Dinky do. How you been in the past few days, Scotty? We are amazing, actually. I uh, had the very honorable task of announcing a uh, very sad task of announcing the death of uh, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, on Friday. And you will see it on the TikToks, guys. So have a look at that. We got the news out there within 15 minutes of Buckingham Palace announcing it. Right, what about that? There we are. The Scots are never in charge. They're in charge now. That we pay, remember we pay England 75 billion. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Well said, Scotty, magic on the radio 24 years ago. What a laugh. Did you love it, Stuarty? Your kind of thing. I'm a Scotty, says Mia. Your videos are awesome. Do black lives matter? Every life matters. What doesn't matter is what color somebody is, what race, what creed, what religion, what denomination, what background, what sexual orientation. We are inclusive. There's only one race. So if you're saying, does one color matter? You're being racist. Do you see what it is? And we don't want that. I love your voice. Follow me, guys. Dinky do custard creams. Now there we are. Yosef. I think you should just go for trolling. Yosef's gone, guys, for trolling, being a half-witted idiot. <laughs> we dafty. Why did Mel Gibson hate the English so much if the Queen was Scottish? I don't know. Well, the Queen in those days, or, or the King in those days, was, uh, was it was a different setup. You see, Scotland's only been in a union for 300 years. Scotland's been around for millions of years, you know? What have we got here? The pronoun people should be banned. We will ban them. Have you ever taken an IQ test? Just on television, Scotty. Stephen James Jones, 164 was the most recent. Is that good? I don't know. There's a user guy asking if I work in a superstore. Now, that's a troll. There's the wee troll gone, right? Guys, anybody ask superstore pronouns? Do you support? Um, can you give a shout out to a rude word? All trolling, all trolling. So they need to be toast, these people, big time. We do not want any idiots on here. Uh, 164 IQ, spectacular, wow. Thank you, Steve Jams Jams. Uh, Prince Philip races never in his life. He did not have a racist bone in his body. Prince Philip was of all sorts of races. Prince Philip was Danish, <clears throat> born in Corfu, bought up in Greece. His mother buried in the Mount of Olives. Then he became a, 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 a British citizen. The very, very, stayed in France, lived in Paris. You know, a lot of his family lived in Germany. He went to school in Scotland, not a racist born in his body. So there we are. And I think if anybody says anything against Prince Philip, they should be jailed and deported. There we go. That's what I think. Roblox, you're a, a troll. You're going. 
Roblox is gone for being an idiot, guys. He's one. Did you want my supermarket? You know, supermarket. Get rid of these idiots. I see. Uh, now, because Philip lived in Germany, couldn't possibly be racist. Absolutely not. There we are, because as we know, in Germany, all races. Fantastic. Good evening, Scotty McClure. A dinky do, I say. Guys, can we all follow? Please follow, follow, follow. And um, share the videos. And if you can like my videos. Serious question. What's your opinion on nationalism? Well, Ryan, <clears throat> we have to watch when people call themselves nationalists. By and large, it's unhealthy. Yeah? Because... Uh, God bless the royals, absolutely. So there we are. By and large, it's unhealthy. Yeah. Uh, big, you look at English nationalism, yeah, the opposite of Scottish nationalism. And that's why it's a little bit unfortunate, but the party is called the Scottish National Party, not the Scottish Nationalist Party. But people talk about, are you a Scottish nationalist? Yeah, they're a member of the Scottish National Party. Yeah, so that sort of idea, so it's not good. Climate Kings, just a horrible, 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 offensive comment. You have no place on a fun, on a fun TikTok. So bye. There we are, horrible person. Horrible person. Uh, why are drugs arrive in Scotland? Well, I think it's to do with confidence and people not realising that they can cope without drugs. And I would like to see drugs eradicated from Scotland. Because if you want a real high in life, as most of us know, you take nothing and then you're woo! <laughs> Whatever people think of the royals, it's cruel to attack the Queen in her grief. Yeah, the Mac, it doesn't matter what people think. You don't say horrible things about anyone. Scotty, do you think the uh, women drivers have got better? At what, Jason? You know, because, I mean, I, I don't think they're natural drivers in general. Get rid of a horrible person who's gone. He got jocked right off. Good evening, Scotty, from the Vale of Evesham. We love it, Marcus. Love to the Vale of Evesham. Uh, two supermarkets, well, we won't do that. Get the troll band hammer out. Yes, start on them. <sighs> Oxygen, nitrogen, and helium walk into a bar. It was a gas. <laughs> I wonder if people were aghast. Um, okay, here's one. I was going to tell you a sodium joke, right? And then I thought, nah. To get it? I got sacked from my job at the helium factory. Well, no, I left it. And I thought, I will not be spoken to like that again, you know. Me and my mum love your content. Cheese man, dinky do. We love doing this for you. Rule Britannia. Well, nice Scottish tune, Tom. Written by a Scotsman for the country, like all best things. Most of the music in this country is either Scottish or German. Uh, Prince Philip was a good man and even a legend. Skin care, he was a fabulous guy. Lovely man, and he didn't have a racist bone in his body. All these half-witted idiots. These are the kind of people that think they're all costers. They don't. Self-financing. The English own Scotland. No, they don't, Dylan. You see, that's the whole thing. Scotland owns the English financially. We send you £75 billion pounds and keep you living. We are your oxygen. So don't bite the hand that feeds you. Am I friend uh, sidetrack? You're a wee troll. You can go stick your head up your backside, blow your nose till the pressure equalizes. Don't try that at home now, folks. That was for entertainment purposes only. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, uh, no user, we don't advertise supermarkets on here. Sorry. Uh, so there we are. Uh, thank you for following us. Evening, Scotty. Absolutely. Uh, yes, I do. I do, Anthony. 
Very, very good of you. Getting really interested in the royal family recently. Connor, it's a fantastic setup. And all the mistakes that people make. You know, I mean, really, the Queen and Prince Philip have done a wonderful job of modernizing the monarchy. A lot of that was Prince Philip. And now we have a lean green monarchy that doesn't cost us anything. You can't say fairer than that. Uh, Scotty unblocked my accounts. I can't. You were you were naughty. Last time I got caught st stealing a calendar, I got twelve months. Simperoni. You know, I remember we kept a calendar and we 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 got six months each. How old are you? Uh, I guess you aren't a day over twenty. Well, I'm not much. I'm actually twenty three, but I'm a time traveller and I've had a very tough life. The Queen's father seemed a good man. He was. George the Sixth was a lovely man. Imagine dying at 56. You know, there we are. Stop bullying. We have no time for it. You're, bu you're bullying us. Stop bullying. So what we'll do, we don't like bullies, so we'll just block you all. There we are. Gone. Fantastic. They were one of these wee trolls. Uh, now... Just Juttis, what is Juttis? Big shout out for the stations, please. You wonderful man, I will gastric band. Fantastic. Uh, what have we got here? Are you going to go online regularly? Minxy, I think we should. It's very popular. Uh, guys, can everybody like this, please? We have hundreds of thousands of viewers and we've only got about, is it 9,000 followers? Come on, that's pathetic. That should be 90,000 followers. I think it's, I blame heart laziness. I think you're heart lazy. There we are. So, come on, let's get down there and get moving. Um, is this your new outlet, Scotty? Garth, I'm so impressed with TikTok. And apparently I've become if not the most popular TikTok live, one of them. Now, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Scotty McClure, you're speaking the most sense I've ever heard in a while. Declan, I thank you. We endeavor to speak sense. So there we are. And uh, who have we got here? I've just watched the King's speech. I admire the Queen's dad for overcoming his speech impediment. Yes, but he didn't always have it. That was caused by tying his hand behind his back to uh, make him right with his right hand because he was left-handed. That's what caused his stutter. Another thing, he had knock knees. He was a little chap. He had knock knees, and they put metal splints on him at night to try and make him look perfect to be the king. So there we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? And Frank, you need to go for trolling. Be very, very ashamed of yourself. Silly, silly person. There we are. Excellent stuff. You're a cracking fella, Scotty. So there we go. I thank you, sir. Uh, now, remember we don't reveal anything on here. Less good, baby. You better go as well. Half wait. Okay, that's us. Good. Hello from Kilmarnock. Um, how, how would that give him a speech impediment, says Harry? Because, Harry, it made him nervous. You imagine telling people everything you do, somebody tells you it's wrong. So somebody makes you out to feel that you're not right. Yeah? And everything you do, it's actually a form of abuse. It's child abuse, you know, and uh, everybody's telling the king, no, 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 you can't do that. You need to do this. And the Riso was so nervous. Do you know, he was so shy. He couldn't ask a servant to put coal in the fire when he was young. And the servant had to give him a wee bit of a telling off and say, you should let us know when the fire goes down. Now we'll have to relight it. 
He was just a very, very nice man. Why do folk troll? Because, Carol, they would love to be part of this. This is a very, very successful, and everybody tells me, very interesting and enjoyable live stream. There's nothing else to match it on the internet. And they would like to come on as the minority and be part of it. I'll tell you what it's like. Have you ever seen a kid who can't play the piano, go and belt a piano with their hands. Just make a big loud noise and hit the piano. And you have to explain to them it's a beautiful instrument and they mustn't do that. That's because they're frustrated and wish they could play the piano. But it looks so complicated. What they need to do is go on YouTube or go on TikTok and Scotty McClue will teach them to play the piano in seven minutes. There are seven one-minute TikTok videos. In fact, I think it's actually nine or ten. And it'll teach you to play the piano on my TikTok videos there and then, or YouTube. So that's why they troll, because they want to be part of it, but they don't have the ability to join in. Or they think they don't have the ability to join in. So they say silly things like, what are your pronouns? Do you work in a supermarket? Do you support Black Lives Matter? Because they've got nothing else to say. Hello from Bradford. I love Bradford. I used to be on Pulse. Prince Philip did a lot for the UK and many more countries. He did skincare. I love you, Scott. He used to listen to you when I was wee. Now I'm watching you with three kids. Fantastic. Neve Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Are you Turkish? Uh, yes, I might be. I like Turkish delight. Is that a giveaway? Hello from Liverpool, fella. Hey, Scouse Mouse. We love the bones here. Thanks for coming on. Do you live in the Highlands or Lowlands? Oh, a mixture of both. Rock FM was the best. Hello from Radio City in Liverpool. Leighton, lovely job at Radio City. We love it. Uh, why did you ban Sarah? I think she'd overplayed her hand, Neve. Uh, she'd said something that was inappropriate for the stream. Ah, I think she'd used the wrong name. Hello from Ellen in Aberdeenshire. Aaron, I love Ellen in Aberdeenshire. I used to stay near Fovren. And uh, I used to go down to the uh, the Odney Arms at Newbra. And I used to go into, was it the Royal Hotel in Ellen, and have soup, tomato or broth. Very nice. And then I went out to Pit Medden, and then I uh, watched the Ithan. What about all that? Is that good? Hello from the Small Isles. Declan, where are you in the Small Isles? Can you be my granddad? Says you don't know. Uh, can people stop talk, talking to my boyfriend? Says Ma. Uh, there we are. I'm sure they can, Spa. Uh, why would you rather they talked to you? Guys, has everybody followed us? We're so short of followers. Really, really short of followers. I mean, hundreds of thousands watch the lives. But uh, we need to get some more followers. And can somebody go, good local knowledge, did you like that, Jason? Can we, uh, can somebody, and I used to go out to Tarvis, Tarves, that's the stuff. Can somebody um, volunteer to go and like some videos, guys? Because I've made brilliant TikTok videos for you. There's hundreds of them there, and you will get an absolute hoot at them. Have you ever been to Buckingham Palace? Uh, I've been, uh, yes, I've been, but only to outside Buckingham Palace. I haven't actually been in, um, and I haven't even been in when it's been open to the public. I must go and see it. It's a, it's a remarkable building. Do you know that years ago there was a sewer running under the kitchen? The smell, the smell is terrible. That house, Buckingham Palace, which belongs to the people, uh, for all the half-wits watching, oh, 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 big balls, golden throne, all that kind of stuff. Buckingham Palace was bought for £5,000 from the Duke of Buckingham. Fantastic. 
and it's only had, it's only been done up three times in about 250 years. There's 463 rooms in it. Queen Victoria used to run away to hide from her mother. Follow us, guys, please. There we are, wooden pallets for sale, two for a pound, two for a pound. Um, so did you ever get into Monroe bagging? That sounds like a, a kidnap or something. I know what you mean, climbing the Monroes. Um, no, the only one I've been up is the Cobbler. Is the Cobbler a Monroe? So there we are. It's been never a Monroe. Can you all follow me, guys? Um, is that a picture behind you receiving your degree? That's the dog. The dog's receiving his degree. And I've chummy done. That's one of them. That was a slightly later one. Scotty McClure is smarter than you always remember. Skatatatata. Doesn't ever in the royal family hate Buckingham Palace? No, they don't hate it, but it's a very big place. You imagine, I've done it. I worked in theatres. And when you have to say, could you take that up to the public relations department? It's a real hike. Could you imagine Buckingham Palace? You come down from your bedroom in the morning and you go to the front door down all these huge staircases past the green Chinese room and the white drawing room and all that. And you get down the bottom and you think, I forgot my glasses. Now, in our house, we maybe have, if you're wearing your Fitbit, a dozen steps to find our glasses. They've got another half-hour journey there and back. So it's another hour before you get back to the front door with your glasses. Love you, Scotty McClue, dinky do. Thank you so much, Minxie. Case closed. Absolutely. I wonder if the Queen gets lost in the palace. No. She's uh, she's been living there for, uh, well, wait a minute. She'll have gone to see, in fact, wait a minute. She used to go and see her grandfather at the palace. And she lived at that time. Now, where did she live? I think she maybe lived in Marlborough House at that time. And she would, as a little one, go to see George V. And I think Mal was at Marlborough House. You could see the palace from Marlborough House. And she used to flash her torch. And old King George V would flash his torch. I think that was right. Have I got that right? Or they would wave to each other. Uh, fantastic, because he adored her, old George V, who died in 1936 when she was 10. You know, and he used to think when Edward VIII took over in 1936, King George had thought before he died, obviously, um, I, I wish to God nothing would come between Lilibet and the throne. So he didn't think that his eldest son was going to do it. Scotty, I can't put my finger on it, but you look different today. Ah, you are. I'm not being arrogant here, but wasn't Prince Philip racist? No. That's a myth made up to try and do the man down. He didn't have a racist bone in his body. Think about it. He was Danish. He was born in Corfu. He lived his life in Greece. He had to get out of Greece because of the political setup. His grandfather had been shot. His father was threatened with being shot. And they got Philip out in an orange box as a wee one, an orange crate. They took him to Paris, where he lived in Paris. Then he lived in England with the, um, the Mount Battens, was it the uh, Milford Havens? I think he lived in England for a while. Then he went to school in Scotland, which was a school for people of all races. His headmaster was Jewish um, and German. Then, uh, where did he go? Oh, no, he lived in Germany for a while before he went to Gordonston, before he went to school in Scotland. Then he went to Dartmouth, to the Royal Naval College. Then he went on naval service to Malta. Then he became an English citizen. 
So, can, can you see how on earth could he be racist? Do you know what I mean? So there'll be a lot of fun. You're all taking Philip's quotes out of context. Absolutely. Are you anti-royals then? No, 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 no. Nobody should ever be anti-royal because there's no reason to be. Do you see what I'm saying to you? The, you know, these, these things are a great pleasure. Uh, so there we go. Um, now, okay, Harry. So you're in Pakistan. His uncle had to oversee the partition. So his uncle lived in India. Yep, absolutely. Dinky do, Scotty. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, absolutely, Damien. There are no negatives about the Royals. One of the best documentaries on the Royals. Well, there was a cracker made in 1969, but it got withdrawn in 77. And it's just called Royal Family. What's the need for Royals anyway? They serve no purpose other than raking in the money. Well, you are. They rake in the money for you. So all you should be saying is, Thank you. But the actual purpose for the royals, apart from all the public relations, 500 engagements a year, very, very hard work, charity work, etc., leading the nation, they are the custodians and curators of the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. The monarchy is effectively Scots. So that's the need for royals. The royals bring in more money to Britain than they cost. Oh, absolutely. Somebody said, what are the Royals cost for security? I said 168 million, but they bring in 2 billion. Do the math. Hello, where are you from? What's the point of the Royal Family? Well, I've just told you, Hira. So there we are. No, we give them tax. No, you don't give them tax, Hira. Right? The most you've ever paid for a Royal is a packet of crisps. All right, Hira. Yes, there you go. Tourism's boosted. Well, tourism brings in £210 billion, and the Royals are a big bit of that. Uh, do you think the Royals like pizza? I would imagine they certainly do. Well, we know that Prince Andrew was having a pizza, so there we are. Uh, we don't need money. It causes inflation. Uh, Hazra, yes, yes. I mean, of course, what would you suggest in its place? Now, who have we got here? Aaron, you need to go for being a filthy, dirty wee midden and using unparliamentary language on Scotty McClue's TikTok Live. Be very, very ashamed. There we go. Now then, who are the first royals to come to the UK? Well, the UK didn't exist until 1707. So the first royals where the Scottish royals, 2,347 years ago, the ancestors of Re, the old Pictish and Celtics. Uh, there we are. That's brilliant. Better to have a queen than a president. Well, do you know that America, a President Blair or President Cameron, oh dear, do you know that in America, they wanted a monarchy after the War of Independence? Who did they invite to be their king? Bonnie Prince Charlie, a Scotsman. But uh, he didn't take it up, unfortunately. Well explained, Mr. McClue. Hat off to you. Minxy, you have to tell them. They're not an authority. Yon, of course they're an authority. They've been entrusted since 1688 with being a constitutional monarchy. Before that, they were absolute and if you'd cheeked up about anybody, you'd have had your head cut off. So there you go. So they're very much an authority. And that's also what the declaration of our birth was. It was the aristocrats, the aristocracy, writing a letter to His Holiness the Pope asking if they could choose their own monarch. Have you got that? So there we are. Um... Scotty, can I ask your role, please? My role would be a roll and sausage, Geraldo. That would be my role. Absolutely up the jazz. Do you know a lot about the latest figures for the Scottish economy when you say up the jazz, the old jazz figures? No need to shout. Nobody shouting. Just telling you straight. Fantastic. Uh, I've only got five minutes, guys. Then we'll have to go. 
Uh, thank you very much. So there we are. How are you doing? We're fine. Jennifer says, what's your pronouns? You never ask, ever ask anybody pronouns, Jennifer. My my nouns are Scotty McClure. They're going to have to tell my fiancé I'm a wee bit in love with another man. Oh, Minxie, don't. Casey goes wild. You know, you don't want a jealous fiancé. Uh, so there we go. Uh, poor Sarah, can you go on the piano or the squeeze box? Simperoni, I can. You're quite right. <sighs> You should have had a tune on the squeeze box by now. Um. Did you like that, guys? A wee tune on the squeeze box for you. Jons Wong says, are you a patriotic Scot? 100%. That's why I'm so fond of the monarchy, because they are Scottish. We won't get independence without the say-so of the Queen. Yeah? So any patriotic Scot will also be pro-monarchy. An anti-monarchist is no friend of Scotland. There we are. Lovely as per, I thank you. Bring back Scott FM. Scotty, how come they keep missing you off the knighthood honours list? Oh, I don't know. I do check. There we are. Can't wait for Scotland to go independent and the Unionists to unite Ireland. We need Sarah back. Absolutely fantastic tune, Scotty. Absolutely. We didn't like it. We loved it. Can you say hello to our very own Queen, Queen Rosemary of Cardonald? Ah, yes, Mary Queen of Scots, Rosemary of Cardonald. I love your mermaid tune, fantastic. Thank you, Damien. What I noticed the other night when I was uploading it, you can hear her tail flapping by the sound of the keys. You know, quite interesting. Guys, if you want to hear a tune that Scotty's composed and plays for you, then look on the TikTok videos for The Mermaid. Yes, The Mermaid. And have a listen. Tell me what we think. Who doesn't love a tune in the old squeeze box is Declan. Shout out to my lovely wife, Samantha. Thank you, Lord Scotty. Bring back Scott FM. What's your favorite place? In Northern Ireland, all of it, every single blade of grass, the Giant's Con Causeway, Bally Castle, Belfast. We need that. Dinky do. Scotty, you're using a filter. You're looking very refreshing. No filters allowed. We don't have it, just me. Dinky do. Right, we're off, guys. Are we ready? The goodbye song. That's 11 o'clock. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. 
au revoir and a cheerio. Who's out there? Somebody saying, do you speak Gaelic? Kamra ha u yon, ha chima, falchi falchi, ki de mili falchi, don tiktok, agas scotchach maklu. Nighty night every day. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay safe, stay fabulous, stay well, stay you. Lots of love. From me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you. Go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. And please go and look at every single video and like them. And we will build our stream so we can do more of this. That's it from me. Ta-ra-las. Dinky-doo.